As Wright State and UD welcome students back to campus, New Center 7's Katie Anderson visited both today. She shows you what classes will look like. It's move-in day for Wright State University students, including incoming freshman Madison Zamer. It's like nerve-wracking a little bit, but then it's like, okay, because you know they're taking care of the pandemic, right? The pandemic has forced colleges and universities to make drastic changes from students moving into their dorms to how they live and attend class. We all got a dorm to ourselves, and we just share the bathroom right here. So that made me feel a little better that we're not all coming from different places into like one single dorm. Zamer says this semester, all but one of her courses will be held online. And I think we had the choice if we wanted to, to be completely online. But I just, I wanted to have one in-person class to get the college feel. So we had to kind of think and strategize over what classes would go remote and what would be in person. Lisa Kenyon is a professor at Wright State and chair of the Academic Reopen Committee. We have set what are called COVID guidelines or COVID capacities. So there's less students in that room to allow for physical distancing and social distancing. And so when you think about all of our rooms on campus, we can't bring back the entire 10,000 plus students because we won't have the space for them. To have enough classrooms, she says 70% of the university's courses are online. The other 30% is a combination of blended and in-person classes. There is a small group that are um, in-person only because of the learning objectives involved in that course. But at the University of Dayton, the numbers are flipped. I'm going in for about four of my classes and then the rest are going to be over virtual. University officials say 70% of their courses are in person or blended. 30% are online. While both students believe their universities are taking the right approach. I think they're doing the best they can and they're doing what they need to do. They fear they could have to move again. And in like three weeks, we're just going to pack everything back up and leave and do it from like our houses. If there's ever a COVID outbreak on campus, the University of Dayton says they will go completely remote. As for Wright State, they say they're still working on a plan. Classes for both start on Monday. Reporting in Dayton, Katie Anderson, News Center 7.